Have you heard about Lady Koi Koi, or should I say the legend of Lady Koi Koi? Well, if you schooled in Nigeria, then you probably heard about the lady who walks at night in high heels. Now, this story has existed for so many years. No one knew where it started from, but many secondary school uh, students have sworn experiencing her, while some simply sank deep into the story, which made them think they experienced it. Lady Koi Koi had no name, no one knew where she was from. So who was the lady and why is this story still trending among students in West Africa to today? So there are two different accounts of the story. One is from Nigeria and the other is from Ghana. So I'm going to tell you both today. So, the story goes that Lady Koi Koi or Madame Koi Koi is said to be a secondary school teacher. She was beautiful and loved wearing red high heels. So, the Koi Koi was derived from the sound her shoes made when she walked on concrete or on hardwood floor. Good hear. Koi, Koi, Koi. Okay? And when, it, when you hear that sound, it's almost like everything else is silent just her footsteps approaching. The story was also that Lady Koi Koi was mean and wicked to students. She even flogged some of them for doing nothing. No one liked her. But one day, she was fired from the school because she slapped a girl and injured her ear. So while going back home, Lady Koi Koi had an accident, a car hit her, and she died on the spot. So before she died, eyewitnesses said she swore to carry out revenge on the school for firing her at such a period and also causing her death. Now, after she died, there were a series of complaints from students in different schools, not just the one that she used to work at. They claimed that they normally hear the sound of her shoes in the middle of the night. Now, you, we all know that one teacher that we, without even seeing them, you can tell when they approach it, either by the way they walk or the way they talk, you know, that they, they always have this uniqueness about them. So that was the thing about Lady Koi Koi. So everyone just knew that there's this mean teacher somewhere that goes around, you know, terrifying students. They don't know who she is. They, they don't see her face. They just hear her footsteps approaching. So now, the other version, which is from Ghana in West Africa, is that Lady Koi Koi uh, was a very stylish woman. So we can, uh, we can say that for sure, whether in Nigeria or in Ghana, the, the story is that she's a very stylish woman and she enjoyed, you know, dressing up, wearing nice red shoes. So Lady Koi Koi was going home one night and the students ran after her and beat her up until she died. So after killing her, they threw her over the school fence and ran away. So all the students that killed Madame Koi Koi later disappeared one by one. It was only the student that hit her with a shoe that survived. Another story circulated that the guy who survived actually was sleeping one night when he heard footsteps coming up to his room. It was the Koi Koi, you know, a lady's footstep. So he got up to go check what it was and something hit him beat him to death and then after he died the school shut down and the students all moved to different schools to spread the story of Mrs. Koi Koi. Now no one has seen her face, no one knows where she's from, no one knows her full name, they just know that she is Miss Koi Koi. So when you go to bed tonight, when it's all quiet and silent, try to imagine a lady in a red high heels walking towards you. Koi, Koi, Koi. That's what a lot of students swore that they heard. So in other parts of West Africa, the story is also that Madame Koi Koi was very mean and she used to wear these red high heel shoes and sometimes she would chase students around and beat them up. So one day she was chasing one of the students and he ran across the street and she followed him with one of her shoes. She got hit by a car and died immediately. Her shoe flew away and she has been haunting students since then. So she appears in school in form of one red shoe and cries out for her other shoe. So you can see that there seem to be 
are similarities in these stories, you know, from Nigeria, Ghana, and other places. They all call her Mrs. Koi Koi based on how her shoe sounds on the floor. But then we still do not know who she is. We don't know where she's from. We don't know what she looked like if she had families and all that. Maybe it's another urban legend, but hey, we love to tell it and it gives us the jeepies at night. So when you go to bed tonight, try to imagine hearing Mrs. Koi Koi. Or please do not, because the moment you start to imagine, you might end up thinking you're seeing her. Because for me, it's been many years that I left secondary school and I still think I can hear those shoe steps coming up. I have never seen this woman, but because I stayed in boarding house and I had this story, I could not stop thinking about it until one night. I had those footsteps coming towards my bed. I froze, covered my head. I was so little, I froze, I was so quiet. My heart was racing and I imagined that she was standing above me. I did not open, I did not open my eyes to peep. I just felt a presence there. Or maybe it's just my imagination, who knows? Well, that's the story about Lady Koi Koi. Did you school in Nigeria or have you heard about this woman? Or do you have a different version to what I narrated? Please drop your comments below. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel so that you can get more updates from me. Thank you again and don't forget to like this video. Have yourself a good day.